my argument is that at teenage years, when you, that teenage rebellion is supposed to happen, code, parents are codependent now, so they pacify the rebellion. They don't let the kid uh, argue. They keep up fronts. That's harder to present. But this is a model of individuation. Hey, we have to do the ritual again. I told you she was big! That big? Baby! Oh, hey, you are in big trouble! So this is Mei Mei's uh, mom, Rage Baby, Red Panda, and then Mei Mei, the teenage 13 year old, also has a Red Panda. But she broke rules. So mom's angry. Super ego's angry. Young lady, oh, go. I'm shutting this down right now. Oh. Everyone, go home. Where are your parents? Put some clothes on. That's hatred, judgment, contempt. So you guys are all misbehaving. Go home, put clothes on. Everything gets shut down because I'm... Killjoy mommy manager. This isn't you! And I will scream at you and say, This isn't you. You cannot have a voice. Let me tell you who you are. This is me! That's what you guys need to do. Connect to your teenage re rebel and bite someone's head off or finger in this example but that's not enough I'm not your little May -may anymore Five I minutes. Lied, mom what it was my idea to hustle the panda my idea to go to Tyler's party it was all me so you have to own your separation in front of somebody who's trying to get you to fit in. You need some sort of rebellious stance against the world or take an initiation to show you're separate, you matter. There needs to be some sort of stance like this. That caused a little bit of shock for mom. How long does it last? Get back here! You think you're so mature! Lying to me! Biting me? How can you be so, so crass? So this is also another secret technique. Gotta do this. You have to find the super ego's disgust mechanism and shake your freak out in front of the super ego. And that's still not enough. <laughs> I never went to concerts. I put my family first. I tried to be a good daughter. Well, sorry, I'm not perfect. So you gotta face to face against the super ego, against your parental injunctions. That's what you need to do. Well, sorry, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Well, sorry, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Well, sorry, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not. 
What does that do? That's owning your shame. That's breaking out of the perfection trap. It's not saying you're shameless. That's the other trap. It's saying you're not perfect. It's okay you're not perfect. It's embracing your humanity. It's embracing your soul. It's embracing your spirit. It's letting your inner child and your inner uh, fight get integrated. Letting your hatred point out your shadow material and integrating in them. And then you can take this natural stance. I'm 13! Deal with it! Deal with it! Deal with it! I'm 13! Deal with it! Deal with it! Deal with it! I'm but you're still gonna face Deal with it. this. This isn't you! Isn't you! Not just from your super ego, from your peers, from wounded healers, from therapists. You're gonna get constant gaslighting to go back to your old self. So become a red panda. Sometimes it's overcomplicated. Hatred isn't too... Kids know hatred. Why do we need like all these words? <laughs> Kids know shame. We know this intuitively. We don't need complicated definitions and all this stuff. We just need a playground to sort of feel it out. Develop our own style. Find our voice. That's the secret. Find our voice. We just need a playground. Find our voice. That's the secret.